Excellency Director General of WIPO, Mr. Darren Tang, Excellencies, Distinguished Speakers and Participants, warm greetings from Indonesia. I wish to start by extending my appreciation to the World Intellectual Property Organization for the acknowledgement bestowed upon Indonesia as one of the highlights of this important event. The Global Innovation Index is a unique and important tool to guide policymakers and businessmen in devising policies related to innovation. The index becomes ever more important today as it helps the global community in charging ways to ensure that we emerge stronger from the pandemic and ready to face present and upcoming challenges, realizing better future for all. Innovation is an integral in our efforts to recover together, recover stronger in line with Indonesia's G20 presidency's theme this year. I am proud of Indonesia's performance in the Global Innovation Index this year. It climbed 12 positions, making it one of the top performers in this year's index. Yet, we still need to work very hard to achieve a better rank in the years to come. The leap reflects our vision unveiled by the President of Indonesia in 2019 for Indonesia to be a developed country by 2045. To this end, in line with the Global Innovation Index policy, focus on productivity revival through an innovation-driven economy, and to achieve its vision of 2045, Indonesia is prioritizing the increased level of productivity through more technology, intensive goods, and services supported by comprehensive policies to improve innovation capabilities and economic complexity. One of our strategies is the Making of Indonesia 4.0 Roadmap. The roadmap focuses on strengthening economic transformation towards innovation-intensive goods and services, improving labor productivity, and boosting innovation capabilities through higher R&D expenditure up to 2% of GDP. A series of policies are being launched and implemented, including direct government intervention and investment, as well as indirect support through fiscal policies and other incentives. Indonesia understands that harnessing the potential of digital age cannot be driven by industrial policy alone. Sustained growth must be characterized by deep internalization of innovation-based activities on a broad scale, including special attention to the future area of growth that includes life sciences, agri-food and energy transition in the backdrop of deep science waves today. These are the three major areas within the Making of Indonesia 4.0 Roadmap to materialize higher productivity and economic transformation in our transition from a factor-driven economy to a full innovation-driven economy. Apart from the focus on frontier technology and solidifying a full innovation-driven economy, Indonesia also focuses on creativity as another major source of growth and development. In Indonesia alone, the creative economy sectors contribute to more than 7% of the GDP of Indonesia's trillion dollar economy, with an export value exceeding 20 billion US dollars. Moreover, it employs more women and youth than any other economic sectors. We need to ensure that the creative economy sectors will remain essential among the most dynamic sectors within our economy. Indonesia also supports the creative economy sector in leveraging innovation and creativity through intellectual property. Our latest innovative policy is the issuance of government regulation on IP-backed financing in order to regulate the use of IP as collateral in financing mechanism. Director General, distinguished participant, in a changing global context, accumulating innovation capabilities is the key to sustain productivity growth and economic development. Innovation plays an increasing role in our economies, including Indonesia. This is why the GII really matters. We salute WIPO and its partners for the excellent work done on the Global Innovation Index. The index has and will continue to help us in redefining our identity as an innovative nation, realizing our ambition to be a global powerhouse of ideas, knowledge, innovation, and solution to global challenges. Thank you.